Hi there, and welcome back to the workshop. Just a short video today. Uh, we're going to, uh, to take a look at uh, Baxton Road, and in particular, uh, the fiddlestick arrangement. Uh, people have been asking for a little bit more detail. I thought the easiest way is to, to sort of do a little video about it. Uh, show how it goes together, how it plugs together, um, and it's very basic construction. So, uh, so let's take a look. So we'll have seen before, Paxton Road is, is quite a small layout. It's only 500 mil or so long. Um, at this end, we have the uh, 12 volt uh, laptop power supply in, which feeds the LED lights and uh, supplies the controller with 12 volts rather than 16 volts AC, 12 volts DC, which does limit the output a bit, but it still means the little um, Farishow weights and in particular run really nicely on it. And that feeds the controller, as I say there. Um, but that power supply is fed down the back, which you can't see obviously, fed down behind the back scene, uh, pops out here uh, with a little uh, RC connector, uh, flying lead allowing you to unplug the fiddle stick and then just feeds the track directly here. Um, the fiddle stick, when you see it in op operation, it just literally slides from one track to the other. Um, the alignment being with these balsa wood dowel uh, positioning stops I've added at both ends. Uh, it's really that straightforward. So how does it uh, pivot? Um, it's resting on a, well, the, le the layout built as a pair of um, six mil MDF pieces um, to give a sandwich. And that means that the, the base of the fiddle stick can slide into the, um, into the layout, uh, as you can see by the end painted gray here. Uh, if I just gently move the 31 up, you'll be able to see there's a pivot. And that pivot is just a piece of styrene tube that uh, is permanently fixed into, well, actually, I don't know which piece it's fixed into, but one has a hole and one has the other bit of the, the tube glued in. Uh, so this whole stick can lift off. It's 500 mil long. Um, the pivot isn't quite at the end. Uh, that's really just because of the length of wood I had at hand uh, when I made it. So yeah, in terms of portability, I can unplug the connector here, um, lift the, the track off and uh, either slide this back underneath or take the whole thing out and carry it separately. So, you know, in transit, we are down to the 500 mil length. Um, so yeah, nothing rocket science here. The sector plate works really nicely actually as a, as a ploy in this case rather than a fiddle stick because obviously if we had a turnout, um, we'd be all the way down here probably before we're at the turnout itself and then we'd need the same again. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, sort of a shunting neck. So the fiddle stick gives me the shunting neck uh, in a much more compact space and I think works really well and it's something I would li like to uh, to use again on future layouts. I often uh, sketch out plans using simple sectors and this is what I always have in mind. Uh, so hopefully that's of use, of interest. Sorry, it's a bit rushed. Um, perhaps not as polished as my, uh, well, <laughs> polished, I don't know, my usual videos. If you've liked that um, and want to learn more, then there is more on my blog and on the on my YouTube channel about Paxton Road operating sessions, as well as some discussion about what I was planning to do next. Um, if you like the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.